Now, today's topic, as I have already explained in the beginning, uh, is Make in India. Now, uh, according to Google, Make in India is a major national program uh, of the government of India. Now it's designated to facilitate investment, uh, foster innovation, enhance skill development, protect intellectual property rights and build best in class manufacturing infrastructure in India. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with due respect, with all of these intellects present here, um, I wanna share my thoughts uh, about, uh, I just wanna say a few lines. I believe from the bottom of my heart that uh, brain is like a garden. Now, every now and then you have to, you know, uh, reap out the unwanted weed that grows in this garden. And uh, similarly, every now and then you have to sow the, the, the seed of wisdom in this beautiful garden. And uh, I believe that sowing the seed of wisdom is exactly the reason why all of us are here. All of us uh, deep down believe in making India and we want to make it a success. And uh, similarly, to foster that thought, we have our next speaker, our next mentor with us, uh, Dr. Kiran Kumar Patel. Um, Dr. Kiran Kumar is the director of REVA University, Bangalore, Karnataka. Now, uh, today, he is going to um, talk about innovative minds and make in India. We welcome you. It's an immense pleasure to introduce you. Uh, and uh, we want you to start your session and enlighten us today. Thank you. So uh, when it comes to uh, making India possible with innovative minds, so uh, here I would like to basically I want to share my thoughts. Uh, it's not a very effective or professional presentation here but it's a general thoughts because it is a panel discussion so I thought I would be sharing my uh, thoughts on the topic is been whatever is been given so when we look at we want we are looking at to make India as one of the innovation hub and uh, that is where school and colleges play a major role and in terms of uh, building the culture of innovation across all the institutions and the private colleges. So this is where the, uh, we can able to inculcate the concept of innovation from the school level uh, to the college or the higher education level so that it will reach to the national and that will, that will further help in uh, building the uh, economy. So if nation wants to be, if nation wants to be an innovation, uh, to foster in the innovation uh, uh, domain and uh, become one of the most innovative country, then uh, wherein we as an India, one of the second highest base for digital product and today everything is in terms of digital and smartphones with unique ID numbers are that is identification so using uh, low cost and low charged uh, data access through the internet so any business model which supports all these things that is digital product so moving fast in the digital uh, domain and uh, uh, which uses uh, mobile internet connectivity and these all will add up as a boon to a uh, innovation in the business model so uh, definitely all these things together will help in making uh, uh, to inculcate the innovation as one of the business model which will further be taken at as a uh, building of the economy also so technology is uh, in, when we look at the present scenario in this uh, digital technology which is playing very positive disruptive role in uh, delivering the services across the globe so when we look at the india's investment especially in the health and education sector which is very very less when compared to the global uh, investment so that is where i feel uh, this needs to be Broad. And uh, today era, we are looking at most of the courses and the studies. What we, uh, uh, what is available is multidisciplinary. So cross fertilization of the ideas. So all the innovation comes from the ideas. Basically, it comes from uh, idea which has been uh, again the root cause will be one of the problem or the challenge we face, and the solution for that is an idea. And that needs to be taken further by 
our innovative young minds at the higher education level and also uh, next uh, it has to be made as one of the business model so uh, innovation needs diversity and india we uh, as a uh, indian and in our indian scenario we have very much uh, diverse environment working environment and at the workplace also when we look at we have a, a different age group of uh, uh, um, colleagues with whom we are working at definitely when i mention a uh, age group that talks about the thought process that talks about their experience during uh, their journey of time so the th three generations of uh, people who are at the common workplace definitely have a different uh, ways of uh, thinking and the thought process their own experience which will be one of the very very uh, critical and crucial element for the innovation so when we look at the characteristics which contributes to an innovative mindset is instead of just learning what the teachers teaches if the student or our next generation youngsters if they develop inculcate their thinking process in questioning observation experimentation associating the things that is what we call it as connecting the dots if today it's a, it's a journey innovation is a journey it's never a destination so as and when the uh, we get the different challenges in life different challenges we face so there uh, exactly uh, the different kind of thought process uh, gets generated and that is where we need to connect the dots continuously and the networking wherein uh, today we all are connected uh, on uh, uh, ui incubator network so this kind of platform will also help in discussing and uh, collaborating with each other so uh, what is that uh, the kind of phase shift which is required uh, i would say instead of teaching a kid to say s yes to everything whatever we teach if they ask why we should be uh, encouraging so uh, teaching a child not just to look at and uh, so uh, just to look and observe so they should be keenly uh, engaged or encouraged for deep observation and they should be encouraged for different kind of critical thinking and questioning uh, encourage and develop the ability of questioning and ask, asking more of why kind, kind of questions instead of uh, simply saying s yes. so this is where uh, uh, which is one of very important characteristics which we have to teach uh, the next generation uh, kids so uh, now uh, so uh, our present education system as my previous colleague has already mentioned that uh, next we are moving towards a new education policy so which will be more on hands on and uh, more on critical thinking experiential based learning so that would definitely uh, definitely contribute to the innovation ecosystem as a whole and hence that will definitely help in making uh, the concept of making india very much practical and possible so thinking and learning beyond the textbook so again one of the very important crucial element in learning con uh, pedagogy that is learn beyond the classroom learn beyond the textbook so learning is a continuous process do whatever uh, they should be learning out of each of the steps they uh, do and they observe the smell so every experience should be taken as a learning so present students or uh, i cannot say it is a present students uh, the days earlier days when we were students so we had a lot of fear on self belief and a fear of uh, less confidence so that needs to be overcome wherein uh, what we can say shifting from fear to a confidence so even if they don't know they don't know itself is one of the very appreciated uh, 
appreciated characteristic, appreciated feature. That way we need to encourage students. So only then out of the box thinking will come, only then the innovation, different ways and methods of solving a problem uh, will emerge. So the country uh, future, what uh, we are looking at is uh, technology is the solution and mobile technology is one of the crucial element which will connect the entire uh, globe, uh, global data and global uh, uh, data uh, over the uh, devices or uh, any kind of uh, networks. So uh, internet is the means of connecting each other. So we need to explore, we need to exploit all these technologies, connect with each other, learn different ways of observing and get aware about uh, more about self-awareness so what is exactly is missing in us uh, that should be made very clear and that should be appreciated starting from the classroom to the society level so in doing so we have certain case studies which we have implemented uh, at our river university like uh, we invited government school kids uh, starting from the first standard you can say and uh, we have given them an exercise that they have to uh, create and they have to uh, innovate something which the we, we the exercise is to find the hidden talent from the kids and they created so beautiful um, uh, uh, beautiful greeting cards some kind of craft and so many things that further we encouraged them to create innovate and enterprise kind of thing so these greeting cards were again we encouraged them to go and talk to different uh, department faculty students and try to sell your greeting card so when they, they could able to uh, uh, really they could able to do that very effectively and whoever the students were not able to do our faculty and students they helped them in doing so so uh, one now one more uh, practical example uh, where we can improve upon or where we can make the environment more innovative is uh, different ways of teaching and learning pedagogies so make the uh, learning environment more creative more uh, more knowledgeable so uh, the students from our university they went and they painted all the science related mathematics related uh, teaching uh, um, pedagogies through uh, picturization through different diagrams on the walls of government schools so this was uh, one of the very beautiful uh, uh, thought which we had implemented uh, and uh, when it comes to higher education level so nowadays uh, everyone must be aware about ideathon hackathons learnathons so a continuous sustained uh, training on certain things like finding ideas and uh, or hacking the code or learning of certain courses for continuous five days and um, making a benchmarking on that and gaining an expertise on these things definitely all these things are few of the methods and uh, approaches which will make uh angst, angsters mind towards uh, learning toward to be an innovator and all these things definitely will contribute uh, to our uh, mission of making india concept so this is about uh, my sesh, my um, thoughts which i would wanted to present and uh, thanks for the opportunity so uh, our next speaker and our mentor dr kiran kumari thank you so much for being with us today for uh, sharing such an amazing session with us today. Um, I'm wondering whether anybody has any questions right now. We actually had some uh, question over here, uh, but uh, uh, from our dear uh, participant, Ghazala Siddiqui. But uh, currently I'm wondering whether you have, uh, you have to ask any particular questions. So, okay, till uh, you guys prepare your questions, it always takes a few seconds, so we're all human. Uh, I wanna make a little announcement for you all. Uh, very shortly, I would finish it. And now, uh, all of you, dear participants, with due respect, we are going to take, uh, you know, the liberty 
of adding all of you to a WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, we are going to take that liberty now just for the sole pro purpose of, uh, you know, providing you with the notifications, you know, uh, so that we can uh, enlighten you with some notifications. So uh, if you get added into a WhatsApp group, don't be alarmed, it's us uh, and you are safe. Anyway, um, thank you everybody. Uh, so uh, no questions, I, I presume. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks for uh, your time. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for enlightening us.